we found the Florence Indian Mound Museum and just made a tour through it a lot of Indian artifacts and this is the mound 70 steps straight up to get to the top but this is the Indian Mound pretty neat little museum Tennessee Valley Museum of Art let's see what they got that's one massive house this is Belmont Mansion, and we're taking a tour. And now a visit to Pope's Tavern. Tavern. This uh, was a neat, it ended up being a hospital between Confederate and Union soldiers. This exhibit has cotton. And how they milled cotton. There's a bale of cotton. Planning cycle. How slaves were used in the process. Wow. There's a Florence Wagon Works. And that was for hog killing? Yeah. That's a big old pot. Scald. Let's use to heat water to scald hogs. Heat water to scald hogs. This is the back side of the tavern. A lot of history in there. Enter in the Palace Restaurant. Lunch at the Palace, and it was great. Chili burger to die for. And ice cream. Susan had a homemade milkshake. W.C. Handy's bust. And that looks like the making of it. That's all right. One of W.C. Handy's trumpets. This is an organ that you shake. Well, you can't really tell through the glass, but this is W.C. Handy's handwritten notes to songs. When the Handys lived here, it had a dirt floor. The wooden floor was not here. A little two-room cabin. It was where he was born. The rest is the museum. Okay, but you would assume they had a table and chair somewhere. Yeah. The organ was not inside the, the home. Yeah. cabin. Because his dad did not allow musical instruments in the home. Oh, that's right. This was the daddy's house, mm -hmm. mom and daddy's mm -hmm. house. Okay. Because mm -hmm. he was a preacher. It was built by the dad and his granddad when okay. after slavery. Okay. And they, they were freed. And so the organ place. wouldn't have been allowed. Mm-mm. Here are some musicians made of metal outside the W.C. Handy Museum. Now it's time to go see the Rosenbaum house. It was designed and built by Frank Lloyd Wright. Frank Lloyd Wright, Rosenbaum house. It's amazing on the inside. This was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright and owned by the Ro Rosenbaums until 1999 and then it was given to the city of Florence. All right, we are headed to the Alabama Music Hall of Fame. The building is right over there, so let's go check it out. And there's Rick Hall. He's the one who started the Fame Music Recording Studio. I guess these are all the portraits of people inducted into the Alabama Hall of Fame. Hank Sr. right there from Montgomery, Alabama. Commodores. 
uh, Vern Gosden, Sam Phillips, Jerry Wexler. There's Hank Sr. And over here is Hank Jr. This is the group Alabama's former tour bus. I'm going to go in and take a look. Now we're hitting Fame Recording Studios in Muscle Shoals, Alabama. Ralph Mann, Mann's Outdoors. We are staying close to the shoals at Joe Wheeler State Park, so we're doing the tourist thing. We want to see all the highlights, so let's go check out Helen Keller's birthplace.